um, welcome back to another video uh, from flutter animation series so in our previous video we completed our background card with linear gradient and we gave it a shadow which made it look more beautiful so in this video we will design the remaining components uh, which are on the cards uh, so without any further delay uh, let's start coding uh, so let's give another shadow uh, to the bottom of our card uh, for that purpose we will again pass a box shadow uh, for this this time we will use color custom uh, blue light uh, with opacity of 0.85 as far as the offset goes, uh, for offset this time we will give it a x axis uh, 0 and for y axis we will give it a 3. Uh, as you can see there is a error. Uh, for this we have to remove this constant at the top and then add constant at the remaining yellow warnings. If we reload our project uh, you can see there is a beautiful uh, small line of custom blue light color uh, that we can see that we can see at the bottom of the card uh, so this is our main uh, card view file there's going to be a lot of code in here so let's uh, uh, refactor this code and extract some widgets out of this uh, file uh, so uh, after uh, when our project is completed it's easy for us to read uh, so we will name this new uh, widget card view shadow uh, by default it will show this widget at the bottom of our file but we will cut it from here and uh, in the components we will make another file um, another dart file and give it a name of card view shadow and place that code inside this file uh, now we uh, to remove these errors we have to import the material library by importing the material library most of the errors will be resolved uh, but for this colors we have to import app utils files now all the errors are removed uh, let's go to the card view file and import uh, the card view shadow uh, let's add the constant to remove this warning and if we reload our project uh, you can see that uh, the reload is complete and it the uh, the screen looks exactly the same uh, so our code is working so we are done uh, with our card view background and it looks fantastic uh, so let's move to other items uh, that are on our card first we will code this text view at the top and uh, step by step we will go through all the components uh, so we are going to draw all the elements in a vertical view on our card uh, so for that purpose we will use column and uh, inside column we will pass children and inside children uh, we will use text widget and inside text widget we will pass animal as a dummy text and if we reload our code uh, you can see that uh, we can see animal but at the left uh, top left corner of our card and out of the card view and it also looks very small uh, so first design uh, we will uh, style this text and after that we will uh, uh, bother about the positioning so first of all let's add uh, style uh, to this text inside style we have to pass text style and uh, here we will we can define font weight for font weight we are going to use it bold and if we reload our code and uh, if we do the indentation right uh, then we can see that uh, our animal text is bold now now further uh, we can increase the size of uh, this text for font size uh, let's say uh, we will use 52 uh, 52 font and if we reload uh, you can see that it's almost exactly at the position where we want it uh, but it in a, it is in a black color uh, so uh, let's change the color and we will give it a custom color white and if we reload our project uh, you can see that the text color has been changed but the positioning of the text is not right to resolve uh, this issue we can use padding in this case uh, we can wrap our text inside padding only and make it work but we have to do it for all the components inside the column separately uh, to save our time and make our code more reliable uh, we will wrap our column inside padding by default uh, in padding uh, the padding is given from all side of 8 pixels uh, but we will in our case we will use symmetric uh, padding in symmetric we have two options horizontal uh, we will give it a 25 and and for vertical we will give it a 5 uh, to remove uh, these yellow warnings uh, let's add constant at the start of our padding widget so if we reload our project you can see that the text is now perfectly aligned uh, where we want our text uh, so let's move on to the next components that we want to design uh, so under the title text there is a subtitle text uh, for this purpose uh, we will use another text widget I have already copied uh, the line uh, and mentioned some text something about animals uh, for text style we will give uh, this uh, font style of italic uh, so it looks more elegant uh, let's change the color of this text now uh, for color we will again use custom color white and if we reload our project uh, then you can see that now our text in is in white 
as you can see that our description text is not in alignment uh, with our title text uh, to resolve this issue we can give it a text alignment uh, if we set our text alignment to the left and reload our code uh, the text should change uh, but it does not change uh, for this we can use cross axis alignment of our column and set it to start and if we reload our project again uh, we can see that our description text is now perfectly aligned under our uh, title text uh, so moving on to the next component uh, there is a circle uh, in the center of our card uh, we will focus on the animations uh, later uh, let's draw let's draw the basic image first for this purpose uh, we will use image.asset widget uh, in flutter uh, inside this uh, we will uh, we will provide the path of our image uh, we have all the images in our assets directory uh, we will give the image name uh, when we use an asset image we can't use constant uh, because we were using constant at the top of our widget tree so if we reload our project uh, yes you can see uh, that there is a image of a baby elephant in the center of our screen so now uh, we will comment this uh, image.asset line uh, because our main focus is to uh, code a container uh, in the center of this card view. Uh, for this purpose we will use container and give it a width of 300 and a height of 300. And we will use decoration uh, and inside box decoration uh, the shape of the container we want it uh, box shape. Uh, we want it box shape dot circle. And if we reload our project uh, firstly we have to remove this error because we are using container and at the start of a widget tree we have constant uh, to remove these warnings we have to constant we add constant at the start of the yellow lines and now if we reload our project uh, you can see that uh, there is nothing to show uh, so let's give it a color we will give it a custom uh, color white and now if we reload our project again uh, there you can see there is a circle right in the center of our card view so this is it for this video now we are getting some shape of our application that we are trying to develop please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel and we will complete the remaining application in the upcoming videos